India, home to over 1.4 billion people, the largest population in the world, with 31% middle class, is seen as one of the largest emerging markets on the globe. India's growth path will be driven by how effectively it harnesses and rewards the efforts of its greatest natural asset, its people. India is the world's third largest economy measured in purchasing power parity PPP terms and, on some measures, will be the fastest growing large economy in the world in the coming years. India will enjoy an average of around 6% annual growth over the next two decades. As population growth continues to slow, improved productivity will remain the critical driver of GDP growth. Currently, the Indian economy is growing at a rate which is second only to the Chinese in the world of emerging markets. Did you know India's middle class population of about 430 million is more than the entire population of the USA and close that of the European Union? This provides India with a distinct cutting edge if we are to add population of those markets with which India has preferential trade or free trade arrangements, the market size is sure to cover more than one-fourth of the world population. Looking at the Indian consumer market, not only does it have a significant size of middle-class population, it also has 54% of population below the age of 25 years this guarantees the future growth of availability of labor, productivity, and consumerism. Brazil, Russia, India, and China, or in short brick, is the group of countries which has started taking full charge of growth of the global economy. Considering the recent studies conducted on a brick, India would overtake most of the G8 countries in a few decades' time from now starting with UK, Italy, France, and Germany by the year 2030. When calculated in terms of purchasing power parity, India has the third largest economy in the world, with a gross domestic product of over US $9.8 trillion. In the first three quarters of financial year 2023, export posted a growth of 36.3%, with a volume of US $468 billion. The same figures for imports were 36.2% and US $991 billion, respectively, out of which approximately US $44 billion was the cost of import of oil and natural gas. At the end of December, December 2023, India's foreign exchange reserve touched US $620 billion. So what is contributing to this outburst of India's economy? We're diving deep into one of the world's most dynamic economies. India is primarily an agrarian economy. While agriculture is estimated to account for just over 17% of the US $2.6 trillion economy, the sector employs over 60% of the population. India has largely achieved self-sufficiency in production of food grains, delivering strong and fast economic growth for the past several years, and this trend is projected to continue in the future. The country has unique competitive advantages with the largest arable land area, 60.44%, of an estimated 179.8 million hectares and diverse agroclimatic conditions supporting the cultivation of various crops. The agricultural sector indeed plays a vital role in Indian economics, politics, and society. India is among the highest ranking countries in production volume for various commodities like rice, cotton, dairy, fruits, vegetables, meat, and seafood. But the nation has access to only 60% of the produce due to lack of storage infrastructure, which leads to an estimated loss of up to 40% of the produce. In fact, these losses are estimated at $13 billion annually. Over the years, India has developed export competitiveness in certain specialized products, making it the world's 14th largest agricultural, fishery, and forestry product exporter. The Index of Industrial Production for 2023 reveals a strong, sustained growth of the Indian industry. The General Index on Industrial Production shows a rise of 10.6% in the first eight months of the financial year 2022-2023 against 8.3% growth seen in the corresponding period of the last financial year. The industrial sectors that have displayed growth much higher compared to the growth in the corresponding period of previous financial year are basic metals, transport equipment, machinery equipment, non-metallic products, cotton textiles, rubber and plastic products, metal products, and wool. India's automotive market was valued at USD 100 billion in 2021 and is expected to reach USD 160 billion in 2027. India is not only a huge market for the passenger car sector, it is also one of the major players in the global auto components business. The total number of vehicles sold exceeds 4 million and is expected to grow further. This makes India 
the fourth largest producer of automobiles in the world. The Indian automotive market is on a significant upward trajectory, fueled by an expanding middle class, technological advancements, and supportive government initiatives, leading to a surge in demand for electric vehicles, passenger cars, commercial vehicles, and two-wheelers. Enhanced by government policies like tax incentives and vehicle scrap page, schemes for cleaner vehicles, along with rising disposable income and better financing options, the market is becoming more accessible to a wider audience. Investments in manufacturing and infrastructure are further boosting production capacities to meet this growing demand. With a keen focus on electric mobility and new technologies, the Indian automotive industry is set for robust growth, presenting vast opportunities for manufacturers, investors, and consumers. According to the industry experts, if the current trends continued, the Indian auto manufacturers should be able to sell more than 10 million vehicles in the present calendar year. The future of transport will influence India's energy and connectivity scenarios. Faster progress in electric vehicle development could lead to shifts away from liquids-driven transportation, presenting risks and opportunities to India's automotive manufacturing sector. Autonomous and electric cars, ride-sharing, and other technological innovations in heavy-duty vehicles could substantially reduce oil demand and could see a trend away from private ownership of vehicles. For example, cab-hailing app-based companies such as Uber and Ola have been successful in India, with about 700,000 vehicles in operation in 2017, up from 300,000 in 2015. India is the largest diamond cutting and polishing center in the world, with predicted growth of between 15% and 20% for many years to come. Overall export from this sector was approximately US 40 billion last year. According to a study by the consulting firm McKinsey, the branded jewelry market in India would reach US 100 billion dollars by 2030. Accounting for 20% of world consumption of gold, India is the largest consumer of the yellow metal. India sells its gems and jewelry major markets such as USA, UAE, Hong Kong, Belgium, Israel, Japan, Thailand, UK, Singapore, and Korea. The US accounts for 29% of the total exports from India in this sector. India's prowess in the information technology sector has been proved time and again in the world market. It is expected that this sector would reach a figure of US 100 billion by the year 2025, with a cumulative annual growth rate of 21.1%. The total number of professionals employed in the information technology and enabled service sectors is estimated to exceed 1.2 million. It's interesting to know Google, the world's largest search engine, has set up a research and development center in Bangalore. The US-based chip maker Intersil is in the process of setting up of a design center in India. IBM has one of the eight worldwide innovation labs in India. By 2035, technological developments will unlock growth and new markets in India in ways beyond current imagination. India may be able to leapfrog dated technologies to spur faster growth. Computing speed, device connectivity, data volumes, and many other indicators of technological capability are increasing at exponential, not linear rates. E-commerce is taking off in India propelled by rising smartphone penetration and dropping data costs. Today, around 14% of India's internet users shop online, compared with almost 64% in China. But Indian online retail is expected to grow to 12% of India's retail market, up from 6% now. This rate will climb further by 2035. E-commerce will support employment, including in tier two and three cities and in micro, small and medium enterprises, by increasing access to finance and revenues from export, with the introduction of the GST, it should also support tax collection and curtail tax evasion, beneficial given India's low tax base. Financial inclusion systems will continue to slowly transform India's economy and mobilize capital inputs. India has already introduced a universal biometric identification system, Aadhaar, initiated measures to boost the number of bank accounts, Jandan, and rolled out real-time payment systems, Unified Payments Interface, and Bharat QR. Along with the GST, these advances will lead to greater tax compliance and revenue for the government, enable welfare spending with smaller leakages, and help combat corruption. Through electronic transfers and lower costs of managing loans, digitization offers platforms for providing credit to micro-enterprises, including in rural areas, leading to greater productivity. The current size of the industry as a whole, 
is estimated US $28 billion and is expected to grow at a KGR of 20%. The film, entertainment, and television segment dominate the industry, followed by the print, radio, and music segments. The Indian film industry is the second largest in the world, with over 1,000 films produced in the year 2023. The size of the Indian pharmaceutical industry is approximately US $50 billion. India is emerging as a strong and key global player in both generic medicine and formulation alike. The Indian pharmaceutical industry has the higher number of manufacturing plants approved by Food and Drug Administration anywhere outside the USA. It has the largest number of drug master file as well. The healthcare market is also undergoing a strong and qualitative transformation. The healthcare market is about 370 billion and is expected to US 610 billion dollars by 2016. The competence of Indian doctors and healthcare practitioners could be judged from the fact that a very large number of doctors and healthcare practitioners in both the USA and the UK are from India. As we look ahead, the future of the Indian economy appears promising yet challenging. Sustaining high growth rates, addressing socio-economic disparities, and embracing innovation will be pivotal. With concerted efforts from both the public and private sectors, India is poised to emerge as a global economic powerhouse in the decades to come. Namaste.